everybody. So my very good friend drove me three and a half hours to Lenox Square Mall and we spent a lot of money that I guess we had, but um, <laughs> she went to Tiffany's and bought some banging silver pieces. It was her first time. It was also her first time to Cartier and uh, we actually had a very good discussion about our customer service and the differences that we noticed between Tiffany's and Cartier and uh, she actually provides some really good insight and what she said was that the, the big thing that she noticed the service was good at both both of the you know sales attendants were you know very kind very supportive you know ooh, listening and all that kind of stuff but there was something different about Cartier and, and she said it was more like it pulled you in like you felt more like intimate you know um, and, and I have to agree with her but you know I was all like be goggled at all the different pieces I was looking at that I didn't really notice as much but she took the time to soak up the atmosphere and so gave me a really good perspective on it so um, I hear there's a rumor about a, a potential price increase and supposedly it's gonna be in April I did ask my sales assistant about it she said she hasn't heard anything and she says when they do it's no more than a week in advance. So at this moment in time, she has not heard anything. Now, mind you, it's still March. So if she were to hear anything, it wouldn't be till the end of March. Uh, the thing is, is that I was saving up to buy a Cartier piece when I went to visit family in New Jersey. I currently live in Alabama. And when I found out about the price increase, I realized that my trip was gonna be at the end of April. And I thought, wow, really don't wanna have to pay, you know, more on top of already what I was paying. So I kind of had to sit there and think about it. And I reached out to my friend and she said, when do you want to go? And I was like, thank you, baby Jesus. So we're heading back now and we're both exhausted. Her more, because she's driving. Uh, I've just been blathering on the whole time. But um, <laughs> we're getting some chicken nuggies and we had some absolutely disgusting coffee. And that definitely made the road trip. So I was deciding between Tiffany and Cartier. Um, I really wanted to get a, a distinctive piece. Uh, I was looking for rose gold and I was deciding between the Tiffany T1 wide hinged bangle, uh, the Tiffany lock, and then with Cartier, I was deciding between the Clash small model bracelet, the Love small model bracelet, uh, the Love small model bracelet with six diamonds, and the Love cuff. And it was a wonderful experience. Her name is Margaret. So if you go to the Cartier in Atlanta, I would suggest you request Margaret. She was very down to earth, made us feel very relaxed. And I have to say that she, we thought, okay, my friend thought we were there for 30 minutes. I thought it was 45. We walked out, she looked at me and how long was it? An hour and a half. It was an hour and a half. Didn't feel like an hour and a half at all. Time flew by, we had no idea. So that just goes to show how much of an inclusive, intimate, relaxed, shopping experience we had. Um, the Cartier store is appointment only at this time. Tiffany, you may make an appointment, but you do not have to. However, um, probably in another uh, video, I will talk about it more with my friend because she's the one that purchased Tiffany if she wants to do a video with me. She wants to do a video with me. And uh, <laughs> we'll talk about the difference uh, that we experience in a little more detail. Anywho, uh, so, now, because we were at the Lenox Square Mall uh, in the past few years, uh, there have been, you know, things saying that, oh, it's dangerous, oh, it's, you know, you gotta watch out, uh, and some violent stuff, but we went there and the security was very tight. So tight, in fact, that we could not carry our pistols and had to stow them away securely. Uh, a little nervous about that, but we really felt that we got, we felt pretty safe. We also parked in a safe place. So if you've never been to the Lenox Square Mall, really think about where you're parking your vehicle. Really think about leaving nothing in the car because you just don't want to tempt it. It is a big city and big city things happen. So just be mindful of that. We took a lot of precautions and made sure we were parked very close to an entrance. We made sure that we had nothing in the vehicle that could be seen and uh, just, you know, we kept aware. Anyway, so, my uh, sales assistant gave me some goodies and she gave me a cleaning kit. Of course, I have the Cartier bag, but we hid it in this white bag for security reasons and I felt really happy about that. Then, of course, there's my certificate. She also gave me a travel pouch, which is really the only thing I asked for. I said, if you've got one of them travel pouches in there, I'll take it. But she helped me up a lot of stuff. 
this detail. Yes. I thought that was amazing. How yes. They folded it and they made it very nice. Very nice. And I love the wax seal. You can tell it was freshly done. It wasn't like some prefab type thing. And now I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> I know I don't really want to, but they don't give you a choice. I have to break the seal. Woo, that's a tough seal. I'm going to only open one side so I can maybe keep the other seal. So. I'll show you what I decided on. I didn't get a chance to try on the Tiffany lock, um, but once again, that's something we'll cover. There was a reason why. Uh, it really was my, my friend. She had never been to Tiffany. She kind of had a little itinerary of what she wanted to get at Tiffany. So, you know, I really wanted her to have the time instead of me being like, I know you're helping my friend, but can you pull out this bracelet? So I kind of was like, yeah, you know, I'm good. So anyway. I hate carrying open this package, and it is as tight as Fort Knox, let me tell you. Yeah, you can have this, but we're not going to be able to let you get it out. So, I say it's one wax seal. Am I cheesy? Yes. Am I going to keep it? Yes. Put that back in the bag. The, the quality of that wrapping is very Really nice. nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's a thicker material. It doesn't look thin at all. Well, listen, lady, if I pay for this bracelet, I demand that crap. <laughs> Okay, so here's the outer box. Unceremoniously dumping it into my hand. Here is the red Cartier box. Very nice, it's got a little push button mechanism there. So it pops open. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And there we go, folks. I got Cartier Clash, a small model. It was a very tough decision. It wasn't that I didn't like one or the other. I love them all, and I wanted them all to come home with me. I don't have that kind of budget. I'm a working girl. Next year, I can get one more. Ooh, you know, hey, listen, once a year, I think that's a damn good reward. Anyway, I do currently have uh, a slim Just in Clue in rose gold, and I wear that in a size 18. That made things really simple for her. She said, oh, okay. She said size 17 on Clash. Now, I have heard that the Clash is normally the same size as a Shook, but I said, before I make this final purchase, I said, let me try on a size 18 Clash de Cartier. Now, she did not have one exactly the same as this. She had it like this, but in diamonds. I put that on. It was so loose. I was like, nope, that's not gonna be it. So I have to say that the service there was fantastic. Um, this is a lovely piece. 